An unusual research center in Syracuse, New York, is creating some high-tech gadgets, one of which could help the physically challenged. Paula Gorell from affiliate WSTM reports. Al Sherman is a quadriplegic. His physical movements are limited to his face, but in moving his chin, he can move a joystick, and by twitching his cheek, he can activate a sensor that's also connected to a computer. And so through technology, Al now knows no limits, and it's all because of this little box known as Thing 3 and the people behind it. Al is not a patient here. He is an active participant in this research. He's actually teaching them what works and what doesn't to allow him to use that computer. And this is where it all happens. Welcome to ground zero of really neat research, where really smart people are working to figure out ways to open up opportunities for people like AL and do it really cheaply. The prototype for AL's face sensors were actually made from the arms of Power Ranger dolls. And Thing 3, the magic box behind this research, they can make that for about $100. But it wasn't enough. We need to refine this technology, make it so it doesn't take a bunch of MDs and PhDs to plug it in and make it work. Because we had the cost down. We had it down to a laptop and a $100 box. But um, we needed to make it more accessible so his mom could plug him in, so his friends at school could plug him in. So, and, and we weren't there. So working in this renovated fraternity house, Dave Warner and his team of cyber elves, power nerds, and widgeteers get them there using anything they can find. They find what works. And when they do, it opens up the world for people like AL. Right in Syracuse, New York, Paula Garrell for CNN.